were designing the Glide 3.0, we really wanted to work on optimizing the whole system design. So it goes beyond just the club head. So when the player is hitting golf shots, they're interacting with the grip, the shaft, and the head itself. A lot of times the, the sole designs of the specialty wedges aren't well suited for um, some of the players that need a lot of forgiveness. So we wanted to make sure we incorporated aspects of really high MOI, but also high performance wedges that great players are looking for. It's always cool to see early adopters of the wedge, and especially on the first week when it gets a win. Um, there were a lot of elements of the sole design that uh, Nate Lashley really liked. That was the things that we really keyed in on, on the design. So it was cool to see those things carry through and, and lead to a, a breakthrough win for Nate the first week. Switching over to the Glide 3.0 is because I like the 60 degree wedge so much at the Rocket Mortgage Classic. I think a critical part of the final round was on number 11. I was even par and I hit it in the front bunker on the uh, par three and I used the new 60 TS Glide 3.0 wedge that I, was the uh, first week that I'd used it. Hit a really good shot and got it up and down on 11. So I thought that was a pretty critical point where if I would have went to over par in that round, it could have um, went the wrong way. We have opportunities for really good players that are looking for a lot of versatility in their wedges, but we also have options for players that need a little bit more turf security, a little bit more bounce through their wedges to to really help them have the most amount of turf forgiveness. It all comes together to create a high-performing product and it delivers forgiveness that all golfers really need.